I haven't vlogged in a while because there hasn't been much to show. So this is my first vlog of the new year. I hope your holiday was restful. I played a lot of Animal Crossing, Café Enchanté, and Gloomhaven. It was nice and quiet. I spent a lot of time doing prep work. Slicing lots of paper, scoring the paper, and getting ready for new plates. And I'm a little embarrassed to admit that I, while I sent in the new plates to be made, I made a mistake. And the fire that this mage is supposed to be holding got nudged over and is a part of her face. So I don't think I'll be able to release this in time for Valentine's Day. Which is unfortunate because I only made two cards for this season. I only made two cards because I have quite a few existing romance cards. And I'm also feeling burnt out from the holiday print schedule. I had meant to stick to only a goal of, I think it was about 12 cards maximum, but I ignored that limit and paid the price. I just feel tired all the time. On the admin side, I had to restock some of my art supplies. A lot of them arrived this week, so I'll be unboxing those too. I'm super excited and a little fearful. Because last year's inventory went so badly, I spent most of New Year's morning counting inventory. This year I counted by weight. Mostly. It spared me a lot of time, so that's a huge relief. Last year was bad because of my laziness. I didn't count inventory until March, so I had to go back through all my sales records and add back the inventory that was sold. To be completely honest, I was resistant to do any work this week. It's... it's everything. My heart wasn't in it, and that's why I took a break last week. And the week before that. I think I'll be releasing vlogs only when I have enough material. But I do have some art supplies to unbox that I've been saving, so let's do that. First up, I ordered a new set of Crayola Super Tips. About a year ago I purchased a 50 set, and one by one they've dried out or had their tip ruined, so this was a necessary purchase. I've also been saving up to get Schmincke watercolor tubes. Last time I purchased anything from Jackson's Art Supplies, it was my 12-pan Schmincke set along with 12 additional pans outside of the set to fill up my palette. A few of my colors were really low, which is what spurred this purchase. And if I'm paying for international shipping, I may as well piggyback more color tubes with it. I really love my old Stadler Mars graphic markers. Unfortunately, the reds in my stash are starting to run out. The 3000 markers were discontinued and replaced by the 3001 line from what I've read. And based on what I'm looking at, it looks like they don't have a strong assortment of blues. So I might be buying something to supplement it. And lastly, Blick. This is the one I've been looking forward to. The new items are the Dorland wax for me to use in place of a varnish for watercolor and gouache paintings. Maybe even more than that. And Copic markers. Now I love Copic markers and unfortunately I purchased a total of six markers, and there were three colors that I already had. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. I thought about returning them, but Blick has a policy that you have to mail it back by UPS or FedEx, and considering the minimum to mail that through them is $10, no. I'll keep them, maybe change the tip, or just wait on them. So that's it for my vlog today. Thank you so much for joining me, and if you feel inclined, please like or subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.